Welcome back, guys. Let's go ahead and clear the space. Come on, our team of spirit. Manatic self to be with us now. Soul. Today, they want me to talk about empathy. Um, and empathy in the body, what it feels like. Hold on, this thing is so not fine. Put that down, sorry. Um, let's see here. Let me open these up. Let's see what kind of messages we get out as well. Um, anyways, welcome in, guys. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you haven't been told today, you're beautiful. I love you. And I hope that everything is working out in your favor. As God intends it to. Sometimes that isn't what we want for our life. But for the bigger picture, for the higher purpose, for the higher plan, right? So, we're going to just start out with... The Mystic Martian Oracle and see what they have to say. Okay. Vistica Pisces, Divine Feminine of Birthing Fertility, number 39 and number 1. Agathar, Agatharan. Manifesting multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional, dimensional perception and attunement. Okay, so that kind of goes in with the empathy that they want me to talk about and the Visca Pisces as well. So I'm going to show you guys these so you can see what we're talking about here, what we're starting off with. Okay, so. Mm, so this is talking about Atlantean and Lumerian. Um bloodline survivors right these are highly advanced uh, individuals highly empathic sometimes psychically in entombed um they're fruitful serene uh, let's see where do we okay so star seeds right talking about the they Get on your development to clean up a uh, human condition, the perception of the world, how we perceive ourselves. It, it's like a, it's a very fast um, spiritual awakening. Like, not only is it manifesting the spiritual awakening, it's manifesting into your life as things coming into your life, right? So it's all about the perception. And see here, it almost looks like holding a crystal ball right there. So knowing future sometimes these guys um look to the future like years ahead sometimes way ahead than other people where they see things that are way like way more ahead than some people and i don't mean that in like a like they think they better it's just sometimes things come into their life and they see things like 10 years in advance five years in advance they see the bigger picture they see the um the work needed to get there and they bring people together to do that work, right? They, uh, like the people that are starseed, uh, or you don't even have to be a starseed, but the people in your company that help bring people together, that create the, uh, well, I guess that is a starseed, but the people in your company or people out there that help create um, the jobs, the coming together, the shared energy, right? And because the Visca Pisces is the overlapping discs that contain um, the ancient mysteries representing the layers right the upper world the lower world kind of like in, in shamanism the upper world the lower world and then the 3d world the shared world right and that's also talking about the holy passage because it says divine feminine birthing fertility so that's like the holy passage passage the holy passage you know as the soul links the heaven was which is spirit and the earth which is the physical body and then manifestations come from the lower world right and then they they um mix together and it's like uh, just like this almost like the figure eight is what i'm seeing here but it's like all together right so they they start it almost like in the root chakra you start and then it comes up into the three week and you know extends upon that right so it's very um Kind of like birthing, how you birth it in your stomach, or the divine trinity, mind, body, spirit, right? Mind, mind, body, spirit, right? So, um, 
it's also the sacred union right with the ma divine feminine divine masculine and then the triad or the energy space in between there that's the union of it the union of thoughts actions and emotions me us you okay so um this is all levels of divine manifestation so this is coming together collectively as a whole right the more it comes out it's also um because these guys almost look youthful here so it's like that eternal eternal youth eternal um uh, uh, um childlike candor almost like the healing the healing of uh it's synchronicity and stability but it's also like um childlike candor youthfulness eternal glow eternal fire right because they look eternal and it, it um, facilitates as well in the clouds because you see the stars the clouds you know so um and that's the, it's like know yourself and you will know the universe kind of energy right know yourself and you will know the universe because it because it's all you know um, let's see here what else do we got here blossoming okay so not only on that it's blossoming and that says sorry you are just getting started so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up okay so it says don't give up don't give up okay and then all right so let's just go from here and let's talk about the empathy that they want to talk about and things in your body now mm, there's many kinds of empathy as i've kind of shared a little bit um oops i have this on let's turn this off okay so it's like the ability to understand the emotions, the feelings, the instinct, and the perception. So here we're talking about perception again, the science of it. There's lots of science behind it. Um, it highly emotional could also be another um, word for it. But um, so you could have some people actually take on the physical symptoms of people around them with physical empathy. Uh, emotional the emotional um, hits it's almost like you can uh, imagine yourself in the person's body without even doing it it just naturally it happens and then also intuitive impacts so you pick up a lot of stuff you pick up symptoms um, these don't even have people people around you it's other people right you experience you know life with extraordinary um, perceptions sensory extrasensory abilities it also can be a psychic ability that can manifest as a sense of knowing, you know, openness to that telepathy of others, ability to receive messages in dreams. It can also be a community, uh, like a unseen, unheard communication with plants, animals, gut feelings, you know, signals of the body, signals, signs and signals, you know, even things in like mother nature or in the world, like um, physical things coming in the world like uh weather and stuff like that um they all of them are different though and and for each person it's um subject to how they do it you know it's it's higher levels of intuition in those things being perceptive and sensitive to these things that um other people's have right to, to other people's have oh my gosh um it also could be telling when somebody is lying or perceiving, you know, the best course of action for a situation. So, um, now, okay, so the four pentacles, temperance, we got four pentacles and the temperance. So what's that saying to me would be, um, how you hold on to other people's energies, you know, becoming easily drained, becoming easily exhausted as a result, you know, be careful about who you spend your time with because they, you could be mirroring back their toxicity or you could be mirroring back certain emotions, you know, and there's no evidence for this, but it, it can be seen, right? It can be seen 
and uh, this doesn't require any kind of spell work or anything like that. This is just natural, um, and it, it gets better over time as the more you ascend. But um, it can be challenging though because like the same filters or the same things that you wouldn't say sometimes when you try to hold them back or absorbing other people's stress, pain, emotions. Um, there's, you know, you could be labeled as overly sensitive, really shy, right? Overly, overly sensitive, overly shy, or you need to develop thicker skin or you're independent and you're outspoken about certain things, you know, about injustices. Um, you don't feel like you fit in. You um, stick up for bullies or um, when you feel like you're being bullied, you know, you speak out, right? D crowds drain you a lot of time alone. You need a loan to revive yourself with that uh, temperance card there with, the, with um, so many competing energies, you know. You could prefer, prefer one on one comp company, um, noses, 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 smell. That's what I'm getting. Smells could be sensitive. Like sometimes I smell things and then I'll be clear across the room, not even the same room, not even, you know, and then I'll be like, oh, that is, that's that, you know. Um, noises or could overwhelm you. You could uh, experience like sensory overload and feel drained by these things, right? You could feel trapped easily as well with that four of pentacles. You feel trapped or held to something. You might tend to socially isolate, you know, shy away from social situations. You could pick up intuitions about people or little nudges about people, you know, gut feelings without them telling you. Um, seeing some with the wheel of fortune, it's almost like seeing things before they happen or, um, getting the thoughts or little nudges about things before they happen, you know, um, knowing things without people telling you about people, places, things, events that, um, could seem strange or just, uh, and this isn't about everything. It's not like you pick and choose what it is. It, it's just like a nudge, right? You don't have regular filters. And so with your body, with your um, physical body, with that Visca Pisces, it's calling for you as well to create boundaries with this. And it's also how your chakras are aligned. The more your heart chakras open to things, the more likely it is that you're going to feel these, these empathic um, nudges, right? Um, could be calling to take breaks, you know? Um, come back to your heart space and reset on your heart, you know, open your heart only to so much that you can allow your body to go through and then, uh, allow the universe to shield you of things, visualizing you as shield around you to protect you, visualizing and not only visualizing that shield, but enabling that, those boundaries yourself, right? So I use crystals, um, crystals, rocks, sage, I mean, all types of things that can interrupt energy certain types of ways that I clean, you know, the house, lots of things, meditating, even just a couple minutes, dropping your heart state, space, ground your body, ground your mind, ground your spirit, you know. So replenishing yourself is a big thing. Okay, so. Also, empaths have the ability to see the other person's perspective. Now, that doesn't mean that they always reflect it back, you know, to them and be mean, but a lot, a lot of times it's like the, the mirroring just happens. You can't help and it's like, you got to stop yourself or not really stop yourself, but it's like, um, how you process emotions as well. So, hmm. You become some people like you attract narcissists, people that emotionally manipulate things. Um, and an empath is very different than somebody who's an emotional manipulator. Emotional manipulator does things for their own benefit, right? They're, they're not about the whole. They're not about everybody doing this match. They're emotionally manipulated to their own agenda, whatever that is. Um, that's the psychopaths, the sociopaths. Um, so you are not that. If you are an empath, yeah, with the Ten of Swords here. It's like you don't want to hurt people. Sometimes you might lash back at people if they hurt you 
in certain types of ways or withdraw in certain types of ways. Always want to get to the truth. Always want to know the truth of, of this situation. But you will shy away. You always want what's best for everybody. Not just yourself. Everybody, right? Because you know what, it, you understand what it feels like to be in their situation. You feel it inside your body. At times with the three of cups here, um, could, like I said, it could be hard to um, celebrate, right? Because you, you know, or even watch certain things on the news because you can consume that negativity. It can um, bring you down and feel like it's bringing you down. But, but in a certain way, it's like you allow yourself only so much of this interaction which can help better you right um so you understand why you're feeling these things where they're coming from because sometimes it can have nothing to do with anything in your physical um in your physical atmosphere in your home life and you're in nothing right it could just clearly just be something else going on like um you have dry mouth and then you see literally see a story and there's a forest fire states over or you feel like something's going to happen with the chariot these are just examples that i've had something's going to happen with the chariot something's going to go when you go somewhere something's going to happen or if your kids go somewhere something's going to happen um some type of assault or something and then it happens two states over you know and um not cortez what is it called catastrophizing catastrophizing um not jumping to that worst case scenario that this is always happening to you like i said with me it's happened states and states over and i think that's a common thing with people you know that have that you sometimes you don't always know where the energy goes but you know it's there you know it's flowing through you and it's happening right kind of like the dreams the dreams sometimes come as metaphors you could see somebody drowning it means they're overwhelming overwhelmed you could see somebody in a fire and that could mean that they're cutting off uh cutting things cutting things out of their life right um you know windstorm uh to me you know everything could be depicted as certain things or sometimes things come out as a riddle and you don't even mean them to you just say it as a riddle and then you realize oh my gosh okay that was what that was or you hear sometimes like i'll hear a riddle in my head and you know so um having the ability to discern these things you know when you have an ability to speak your truth right or make decisions you get that um throat chakra right which that can manifest sometimes in um teeth pain or fan even phantom teeth pain throat throat swelling right that's lack of being able to tell speak your truth or somebody around you speaking your truth right um the burpee energy you know lack of some type of confidence or spiritual burp, you know, getting the point across, right? Um, the nose itching, right? It's like you're channeling certain things like that. There, it's all it all comes together, right? And uh, your ability to sort of discern spirits around you, whether they're good, whether they're bad, right? And even of the people around you. So that's what I have on that. Um, that's uh, as I said, it's in the card here kind of just as little ways to help show you how um how it happens i like how it it kind of runs it runs into it and always talks about how you can transform the energies right so we're gonna end with that um i love you guys i hope you have a